New tonight, state leaders are making a push to introduce and maintain diversity in the classroom. A new House bill will protect people of color from layoffs in school. NBC 5's Anthony Carter spoke with state and school officials on why this bill is critical. Anthony. Katie, state leaders say that House Bill 2001 will help retain a diverse workforce during district layoffs. With inequality being a topic of discussion within the past year in this nation, school officials tell me it's never too early or late to teach students about race. I think that it's imperative that we start talking about about race and diversity at a really early age. Becca Leroy is the assistant principal at Ashland High School. D.L. Richardson is the equity specialist with the Mefra School District. Both colleagues representing Black Southern Oregon Alliance advocating for diversity in the classroom. And the social um, concerns are happening in their time. It's important for them to see and for us to talk about. On Tuesday, the House Committee on Education unanimously passed a bill that will maintain diversity ratios between teachers and students if districts have to lay off staff. Normally, seniority is considered during layoffs, and this bill will help prevent a setback in inclusion. The possibility and the expectation of graduating high school goes up as, as high as 35 percent from one teacher, one teacher of color in that classroom. House Speaker Tina Kotek is the main sponsor of the bill. She says that during the 2018 to 2019 school year, the statewide student to teacher ratio was 19 to 1, whereas the ratio of students of color to teachers of color is 68 to 1, a gap that she says needs to improve. But add this level of merit that you would have to look at to determine whether you were going to lay off a particular teacher. Medford Representative Kim Wallen was previously on the Education Committee, and she says diversity in the classroom is on the top of Governor Kate Brown's list. The governor has certainly been clear that diversity and those issues are of very high importance to her. Leroy highlights that having a teacher of color in the classroom is not only beneficial for students that look like them, but for all students. You know that white students also benefit and do better having that exposure to diversity from their teachers as well. Though the bill may not be moving to the House floor anytime soon, local officials say it's a start to new change. At least in this state, we're found, with our racist history, we're finally getting to that point of understanding that and moving that forward. Right now, there is no timetable on when it will be voted on to go to the House floor. Representative Kotek said that during this ongoing push for racial e equity, we quote, must not fall behind in our goal to ensure greater representation in the state's educator workforce, end quote. Live in studio, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.